Hey guys, it's Heather. Today I'm going to unbox and try out the new Dyson Corral. So this is actually my second attempt at this. Um, I ordered one two days after it was released. I ordered it from Best Buy. It was delivered to me two days later. I filmed the entire unboxing. I took it into my bathroom to use it and it wouldn't charge. It says that it takes 40 minutes to get a 90% charge. It sat on the charger for almost four and a half hours before we contacted Dyson going, what's going on? So apparently there was something going on with mine. Um, I went ahead and placed another order from Best Buy because it was two days. It arrived yesterday, and the first thing we did was take it out of its box to make sure that it works, and it does. So it's just our luck. We tend to get things from time to time that don't work right off the rip. I'm, I'm assuming it's that way with everybody, but you know. So this box is actually empty. I have all the parts and pieces sitting out in front of you. My husband brought this to my attention. I actually hadn't even heard of it until he came downstairs and asked about it. Um, you know that I'm working on trying to make my hair healthy so that it will grow. I take the Nutrafol vitamins. I've been, I think I'm on my fourth month or fifth month of those. Um, I reduce the amount of heat that I use. This is my hair. I wash it at night and I let it air dry as much as possible. I do the, use the hair dryer a little bit so I don't like to go to bed with wet hair because you wouldn't want to see what I look like once I've done that. <laughs> but so this is my hair, not flat ironed, not curled or anything. And so let me tell you a little bit about this. Okay. So the ultimate reason I decided to purchase this was because you use less heat and less time. So you have less damage. And I do have a pair of glasses right here, my old glasses. So I'm going to read a little bit from this box. Oh, they're really dirty. I had, they're in my little brush holder over here, so I'll have like makeup dust all over my eyes. It says, ready to style when you are with 90% battery charge in just 40 minutes using the magnetic charging cable or dock with a, or uni and universal voltage. Now I'm gonna show you real quick. This is what the, char the device actually looks like. You have a locking mechanism here that will keep it shut. It can be used completely cordless, which is, I love that idea. I love not, I have big handles on my, cabinet doors and everything I use is corded. I'm constantly opening my cabinet doors with my cords and there I go to get to here and I'm stuck. And so this is brilliant. You don't have to worry about where you are. You can use it corded as well. Here is the, I guess he didn't take off all the paper in this. Um, my husband actually unboxed this one because he wanted to make sure that it was going to work. So Here's your charging brick. That's true fashion for anything Dyson. They tend to have larger charging bricks. Here is your little magnetic cord. It just pops right here. Now I also have the Dyson hair dryer. It's got a little clip here. So, um, and the, the attachments have a magnetic and it's a strong magnet. It works really, really well. So you charge it. If you're going to use the wall charger and plugging into the wall, you can use it just like this. If you want to use it fully corded. Otherwise, this comes off. Let me move the cord back here. I have not opened up the charging station yet. I already know what it looks like because I've already done this once. Let's see, pull it out of the plastic. Here is the dock. And then this is a little, a restauranter type thing. Let's see, it goes this way. It slides in just like this. So that when this plugs in, I'm sorry, from this side and into the wall, and then your Dyson Corral sits right there. And when it's plugged in, it will make a little sing song to you saying, hey, I'm charging. And you can actually see the screen charging here. I'll do all that in the bathroom. I'm sitting at my vanity right now, which is not a lot of space, but enough to get ready. So let's open this back up. You just release that and it opens. It is a little weighty, but you have to remember there's a battery in here. It's charging so that you can use this cordless. But if you're using it 50% less or 60% less or whatever, you're not going to hold it as long. So let me let me go back to reading. I'm all over the page, all over the board here. Use cord free or corded for longer runtime. With the thermal performance of a corded straightener are or connect the magnetic 360 rotating cable to extend the runtime in hybrid mode. Auto shut off after 10 minutes of inactivity for added peace of mind. 
Now I'm one of those that double checks everything before I leave the house. I make sure nothing's left plugged in, the art unturned on or lit. There have been a couple of times where I've come home, oh my God, I missed a candle. I have candles burning all the time. OLED screen has the battery level, temperature control, and charging status displayed during use. Suitable for all hair types. Vi variable heat settings from 330, 365, and 410. Ensure effective styling for all hair lengths. And then there's, there's more to that. I'll actually bring up wherever my phone is. It's in the bathroom and read to you. I watched a couple of the Dyson reviews by Dyson, the man who made it himself. All right, and this just tells you what's included in the box. Um, the only straightener with flexing plates that shape to gather hair. Less resistance on, on heat. I'm sorry, rest, less reliance on heat. Enhanced styling, use cord or corded. Okay, I've got my phone so I can read to you a couple more things that made this something that I wanted to try. Goodbye excessive heat, hello flexing plate. Enhanced styling, half the damage, use cord free or corded. Um, do, 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 do. The only straightener with flexing plates that shape to gather hair. Our manganese copper alloy plates flex around your hair to gather it. This extra control allows you to create the same style but with less heat and half the damage. <laughs> Turning down the heat on conventional hair straighteners might reduce damage, but it also affects styling. By gathering hair, our flexing plates let you achieve the same style with less heat for 50% less breakage, reduced fridge and frizz, and fewer flyaways. That, that was the main reason, is the less damage and the less heat. Um, I, I'm not going to be one that's going to have some natural hair. I'm not going to be able to, like my daughter can literally wash her hair and put some styling product in it and leave the house because she's got this really pretty naturally curly hair. I don't have that. I have these pieces. If my hair air dries all the way, especially here, I have these wing, these horns that come up <laughs> and certain areas of my hair that are super frizzy, some areas of my hair that are super straight and there's no rhyme or reason. Um, when I was younger, I had, up until my teenage years, I had hair almost to my butt and almost all one length. And yes, I permed it. Um, you know, it was the 80s, early 90s when the perms were like the big thing. And then I started coloring. And that's when the damage started and the addiction to coloring my hair and to putting everything I could possibly do to my hair to my hair began. And it has been 30 25 years. I want to mention real quick, this has another little fun detail. This has a lithium ion battery. So when you're flying with it, you have to be careful. There is a little plug here, if I can get it out. When you release this little plug, it disconnects the battery, which makes it safe for travel. It also comes with this really cool little travel pouch. It's also a heat resistant when you're gonna put it down, you put your flat iron on your counter surface, you're not gonna mess up your counter. Inside this little travel pouch is this little, and it's attached to by a string, is this little doodah here. So you take this, I can't do this with one hand, anyway, you can see there's a little pouch here with a little slit. It slides, oh, I might be able to do this with one hand. Almost, almost there. And this is, my left hand is still not completely working properly. There's a the little cord that's inside there and I can't see it very well either, there we go. And then this tucks inside the little pocket. So it protects the teeth of this little battery, this little piece that, that disconnects the battery, it protects that you wrap it up inside your little pouch here ever so nicely and this will be great for when you're traveling. I mean, it's all in one. And you know, I know that th these are pricey, but Dyson takes an idea and implements it in such a good way that the products work well. I mean, all of my, other than my little robot vacuum cleaner that's out there vacuuming right now, all my other vacuum cleaners are, are my newer ones, are Dyson. I have two stick vacs. I have the Dyson Animal Ball. I have my Dyson Air Purifier. I have my Dyson Hair Dryer. The only thing I haven't purchased yet was the Dyson Air Wrap. It's the hair curling wand thing that's there. But I watched a couple of reviews on that and I, I'm not sure. I'm, I mean, apparently there are some tools that would work for me, but I don't know. I haven't decided whether I want to get it or not, but this one talking about less damage 
absolutely, I mean, the hair dryer, even my husband loves the hair dryer. So now I'm going to move into the bathroom. I'm gonna set this up and heat it up and let's see if it actually does my hair. Bonus on this, you can also curl your hair with it. Today is gonna to be a straightening day for me. I was gonna do this the other day, so I had to wash my hair like every day now trying to get ready to do this and then it didn't work or whatever. So I have clean hair, I'm gonna straighten my hair today. I usually curl my hair on the days that I have dirty hair. But anyway, let me get me set up in the bathroom and we'll see how the sucker works. Okay, as you can see, I have quite a bit of stuff sitting here in the corner of my bathroom. This is the charging station that I'm about to put the Dyson Corral on. If this works the way I want it to, this, this is the Bobilis, Babilis Pro Prism Prima 300, 3100, I don't know. Um, it's not bad, but it, I don't think it reduces damage on anything I use. And then I have the T3 curling iron that has the reduced, the removable top. So these are the two pieces that I go to most of the time. I do want to show you what happens when I stick him. Did you hear him? He made a little chime. And so now he's, let's see. Yeah, the last time I did this, every time I push this button, it would give me an error message. You press and hold, you see I have a full charge. Now I'm going to, now I choose, it's telling me to turn it on or up. So if I go here, this is set at the lowest setting of 330, go up one is 365, and one more from there is 410. We are going to reduce damage. We're gonna try this at 330. I have very fine, thin hair, and it is going to heat up, and it heats up quite quickly. So once I have this heated, we will, see what she does for my hair honestly in about i would say less than 10 seconds it gave me a little chime and a check mark saying that it was heated so it is at 330 degrees pull my headband out I'm going to brush out any tangles i may have now i have been using this living proof perfect hair day heat styling spray uh, it's a it's getting close to empty i've got a couple more backups of different types i'm going to use but i always use ooh. There we go. I'm just gonna spray this throughout my hair. Sometimes I section it off, but the pieces that are most fragile are right up in here in the front. All right. And then I'm going to take the bottom area, I can section off my hair. I just do the back first, I twist it up and I use a little claw clip to hold it up. All right, let's see how she works. That's 330 degrees. It took any kinks and flips out of my hair. One pass. Now I don't have a lot of hair, so Grab my mirror and see what it did. Grab up this piece here. Apparently I grabbed that the wrong way. Okay. This is the area that is the most fragile and all the little pieces around my face. And I want to use as little pressure or, you know, I don't want to be pulling that hair. You can see all these little kinky pieces down underneath here. I pulled too much hair. I do find the less hair I do when I, do, you know, regularly flat iron, no matter what I use, um, the less times I have to go over it. 330 degrees and it's doing that. I'm not pulling hard. It's 
got the little flexing plates in there. You can watch where the edges touch together and then they they squish down. And I need a battery. Okay, new battery. Keep going. My hair is so fine, it's hard to stay up in any type of clip, so it just tends to fall as I go. Tummy's growling. It's time for a smoothie. All right, let's see. This is too much. Well, let's just see. I'm gonna. I end up getting if I use too much hair, I end up giving getting this um, groove right at the top of the hairline. So, and I don't think that that has to do with any type of flat iron. That's just grabbing too much hair at once. Okay. Put a little less hair for this one. I'm loving the fact that I'm only going over this, the, each section one time and I'm not going slow over the sections. I'm going my, my regular speed as if I was using a very hot flat iron. And I will eventually try the curl because this is rounded around here. This is not, I oh, okay, so the plates are hot, So, but this part is not hot at all. This part is not hot at all. All right, let's see, did I miss anything? go up here where I grabbed all that hair and just try to give that a little bit of volume by pressing up on it. Okay, let's take the next layer down. Again, the very fragile pieces. I keep the back of my hair grows really fast. I could grow a mullet no problem if I wanted to. The fronts of my hair where all the damage has been has, it grows much slower. I'm working on it. These pieces didn't even used to come to my chin. So I'm working on those pieces, but I am doing a lot of cutting the back to try to give the front time to catch up a little bit. So, and I just need to be more careful with the front pieces. And that's the whole idea behind me getting this flat iron. And my husband knows that I'm working on trying to get my hair healthier. And that's why he brought it to my attention. It wasn't even on my radar. A few years back, um, I had asked for the Dyson hair dryer because it dries faster and I can have it on low heat and I love it. It's very easy to use the weight of it is in the handle, not in the, in fact, I'll show you. The weight of it is here, not up here. So when you're blow drying, it doesn't, you, you, your wrist doesn't get fatigued. And I really like that. And I don't think my husband realized how much he was going to like it either. And I noticed when I use that, cause I, use, I do use a, um, that attachment that's on it. That's what I use at night. And I just put it on the second to the highest setting, which there's only three settings. It's low, medium, or high for the heat. And I keep it on the medium. And I don't have nearly as much frizz. You know, on the RV, I have a dry bar because it's small and it can fold up and be put into a small space. I do have that um, hair dryer. And you don't even, I don't even know what flat iron I have on there. It was one that I've had for a very long time. So if this then ends up being my favorite here, then maybe I'll just leave this Bobulus one on the RV. If we ever get to use that RV, we, I had mentioned a while back that we had several bookings for spots to go this year in the RV. And last night as we were getting ready for bed, I got an email notification that they've all been canceled and refunded because of what's happening in the world. And I mean, I understand it. it. It surprises me a little bit being a camping spot because you're literally just gonna be there on your RV by yourself. But I think it's just the best way to not spread anything right now. And we might as well just do our part and stay home and try to keep ourselves occupied, our kids occupied. And 
I hope that it's okay with you guys that I'm continuing to, to film regular videos as much as possible. I feel like we need a place to go that doesn't stress us out. Because I don't know about you, but I can't turn on the TV or even get on Facebook without getting some sort of a notification right now. And I understand this is very serious and that we are all going through this together. I'm taking it very seriously, but I don't, we still have to have a sense of normalcy and that's what I'm trying to do. And I appreciate the YouTubers that I watch that are allowing me to watch some content right now that gets my mind off of it. So anyway, I hope that you all are safe and happy and healthy and I pray that we all get through all of this and then it's over soon. Okay, I'm, I'm really liking how easy this is. Again, I'm just doing a basic flat iron because I'm not going anywhere with less heat, significantly less heat than I normally would use. And I thankfully had some Best Buy points that I was able to use in the purchase of this, so I didn't have to pay full price for it. It's still expensive. I mean, there's no, no way to look at it other than it's expensive, but. And I, and I have some frizzy ends, that's just how my hair is. But I think that for, what'd that take me? I should have I timed that. I would still be doing it uh, with my flat iron, with my regular flat iron. So I am quite pleased with that. It's very smooth. Um, my hair didn't feel hot through it. I am trying to slowly grow my bangs out a little bit. I did trim them not too long ago, so they were they were actually to my jaw at one point. But I feel like I have to have some shortness here, to ha otherwise it's just gonna all be hangy. Because I have very fine hair and not a lot of it. Let's see if I can add a little curl to this. See, and this is where I start damaging my hair because I'm like, oh, I want to do this. So let's see if I can just add a little bit of, look at that, super fast. Use a different, let it cool a little bit. And then I use my finger brush, pull it back in there. It gets it off of my face a little bit. I think it's fantastic. I like the fact that it doesn't take up a lot of space. The battery pack takes up a bit of space, but it doesn't have to stay out. Um, or maybe it does. I have a lot of things plugged in over here, <laughs> but I can get rid of these two. If this ends up being... If I, I'll try curling with it at some point, but you see it, it literally straightened every bit of it and I'm not seeing a lot of frizz other than this, the damage that I've got in general. And I've completely messed up my part now. That's it. That is the Dyson Corral. Um, I really like it. I, I think it's, I mean, I hardly had to use it. Let's see if you press and hold and it's off. And I guess you can just leave it on that little charger or you can hook, put it back in your little bag. I just kept setting it down right on the charger. It was really easy. But this is great for travel. So I'm very pleased with this so far and hopefully I don't have any more problems. I do have to send that other one back or take it back into Best Buy. I'm just trying not to be out in public right now. But I'm very happy with it. It is, it does retail for $4.99. Um, I realize that that's a pricey, I mean this, this one, it's just a, you know, I mean, it's, it's a good flat iron. Don't get me wrong. And I don't use this one all the way up. I usually go to the third light on this, but it does take me longer to use this. I go over the same spots over and over again. This one also locks shut for travel. Um, but I'm, I'm really liking this. So let's see over time if my hair tends to be less damaged since I, let's be honest, I'm going to use heat. I'm going to dry my hair and I'm going to flat iron my hair because I don't have the type of hair that can air dry and I look good. So I'm pretty pleased with it. 
So let me know what you guys think about the Dyson Corral. Have you picked it up yet? How many videos have you watched on it? And uh, I know that there's not really a way for me to tell you in the future if I see less damage. I mean, it's, it, I can't right now. In the future, I can say, okay, I'm noticing a difference. I think things are growing faster. Or I see less damage on my ends. These are the pieces that I worry about the most. And I do put product in those. One of my newest products, I got a sample of it and I think an Ulta order that I got. Let me put my glasses on so I can read it to you. And I really, really liked it. This is the Karastas Paris Nutrieve 8 Hour Magic Night Serum. And I put a little bit of this on the ends of my hair before I go to bed at night. And it smells so good. It smells so fresh and so clean. I've had this one now for probably about a month. Um, but I did get a little packet of it. I liked it so much. I bought the full size. Anyway, so let me know your thoughts on the Dyson Corral. Do you want to try it? Do you have damaged hair? What do you do to help? I'm see, I've got a little flip here. So I'm not quite used to the little flip. I just wanted to see if it was going to curl. All right, guys. I hope you're having a very happy day. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. And wash your hands. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.